come on in and tell me what you think of your brand new bedroom. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Wait, what? Hey girls and guys, it is Sarah from Saya Let's Play and you guys know that recently I adopted my best friend's daughter after unfortunately my best friend passed away and I'm gonna be honest, life has been pretty difficult having a brand new daughter that I don't know anything about. I mean she's only two years old and like she still like doesn't even have a bedroom in my house so I still have a lot to do but First thing on the list is to cook her some breakfast. So I've gone ahead and done that. So at least my child won't starve, which is a good thing. All right, there we go. Let me grab mine as well. All right, um, here we go. Even though her name says April, she did decide that her new name was gonna be Jess. So, um, hey Jess, how's your breakfast? Thank you for breakfast, mommy. Oh, no problem. I just hope that everything's cooked all the way. <laughs> you also have some orange juice, okay? It's very important for your vitamin C or something. I don't know. Hey, mom, am I getting my new room today? Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, well, I've been doing some planning and some thinking, but I need your input. I need to know what colors you like. Do you want like a animal themed room? What kind of animals do you like? Just let me know as many details as possible and I will make your dream bedroom come true. Well, I like pretty colors and butterflies. Um, when I was at the adoption center, I used to see one every day and I used to think it was my mom watching me. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. So. How about for the rest of the day, you hang out, maybe uh, watch a movie, and I'll be working on your room, okay? So come on, let's go do our dishes, and then we'll get started on your room. So right now, Jess is watching Frozen 2. So this is what we have to work with. I'm not gonna touch the closet because we all know that used to be Jess's closet, and she still doesn't know that Jess is her mom and I kind of don't want her to find out just yet, but I do want her to like have her old clothes and stuff. So I think we're gonna keep a similar layout, maybe add in a bathroom or something. Might be a good idea. All right, I think I've got my vision. Oh, I can't believe we're saying goodbye to Jess's room. All right, so we've got to get rid of some things. Uh, well, we're gonna... We'll keep the table for now just in case I use it. Definitely gonna change up the color of the place because I think it just needs to be a little bit more colorful, especially for a two year old. And I definitely am gonna build a bathroom. So let's go ahead and start with the bathroom first. So we're gonna move this stuff over here. And now that we don't have to worry about Marcus the stalker, we could get rid of these shutters, okay? There we go. Now let me get my wall. The bathroom's just gonna go right there. So it's gonna be nice and simple. Grab our door, put that right over here. And I've already started planning things out just a little bit. So I actually have the wallpaper designs and look how cute they are. So for the bathroom, I'm gonna use this little rubber ducky. And honestly, I can't get over it. Just check it out, it is so adorable. So I don't know if I want it everywhere or just along this wall. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna just do it along here. Yeah, cause then we don't wanna overdo all the rubber duckies. So we're gonna go ahead and place it there. Oh my gosh, I think she's gonna love this. Well, hopefully she does. This is so cute. I low-key want this to be my bathroom. Okay, look at that! And then we could just make the rest of the walls like a really light pink to match that background right there. And voila, look at that! Oh! Okay, so now that we've got that, it's time to add the important bits. She needs a place to shower, so we're gonna add a little bathtub. I'm gonna get rid of this window here for now. And oh, I think I think I'm gonna add a shower as well, just because it's nice to be able to have like a bath or shower depending on what mood you're in. 
And then I don't want her to fall out of the bathtub. So we're just going to add a nice little wall going across like so. And look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. So we're keeping it super, super simple. Now we need a sink and a toilet because um, those are very important in a bathroom. <laughs> All right, there we go. And let's get a counter so we could put a cute little sink. We're going to go with this one here and a sink. And then we're basically finished with the bathroom. Just going to add a few little finishing touches, a mirror. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see her reaction. I hope she loves this. All right, let's add a mirror right there. And there we go. We're going to add some accessories to the bathroom in a second. But let's start working on the rest of the room right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to add little carpets in there and stuff. It's going to look super cute. Okay, but now for the actual bedroom, let's move this stuff out back here. Uh, we'll put the frames over here for now. And now let's get the bed, which I've already picked out. So she said she liked pretty colors. So I was thinking I could go with like pink, blue, purple, yellow, just kind of mix it up a little bit instead of going with just one color. And I think this bed is cute. I like the colors of it. We're going to put this cute little frame over here and then replace this brown carpet with something a little bit more colorful. There we go. And then of course, because she's so young, and even though I don't plan to keep her forever, I do know that reading is very important. So we're going to add a shelf with all her books and some toys and stuff. And there we go. So it's still similar layout to her mom Jess's old room, but it's a little different. And now she said she wanted butterflies and I found this wallpaper right here. And I'm going back and forth because I know it's kind of crazy and I know it's kind of a lot, but I kind of think she's gonna love it. I mean, she said she liked butterflies, right? Is that too many butterflies though? Like, would you be freaked out if you saw that? Oh, I don't know, it's a tough decision. But it is really cute. Look at that. And then if we keep the rest of the walls like super, super simple, I think it could work. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We'll have to see her reaction. <gasps> oh, let me know what you guys think of this wallpaper. Be honest. I can handle it. Just tell me the truth. Is it ugly? Is it ugly? <laughs> I'm wondering if I should put the carpet under the bed just a little. I don't know, I kind of like the carpet under the bed. Just like halfway, you know? Just, just a little, not too much. All right, so now let's pick a color that's gonna match the pink on this wall. Uh, oh, we could go like hot pink, or we could go a bit more subtle. Uh, oh, I don't know, like usually this, is, this would be a lot for me, but I kind of like it. I think we're going to go with a lighter pink though. Yeah, yeah, let's play it safe. We're already going crazy with that over there. So we'll go with this lighter pink here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, I love this. And now we need to add some picture frames around. We'll have her TV over here. Well, there's nowhere to watch TV though. Because that's over there. Hmm, do we have a smaller TV we could put up? I mean, it's not a big deal if she doesn't have a TV in her room. But it would be nice to have one like here or something. Okay, we're gonna have to figure this out. Oof. All right, Jess, your room is all done. Are you ready to see it? Yes, please. Okay, keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna open the door. All right, uh, stay there, stay there. Oh, hold up, just one finishing touch. Okay, all right, come on in and tell me what you think of your brand new bedroom. Check it out. So, do you want me to give you a tour? So, tell me what you think of the new room. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Wait, what? I'm just kidding, it's perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad you like it. So you finally have a brand new bed, 
I left this little picture frame empty right here so you could put whatever picture you want. Can it be of us? Uh, yeah, sure, if you want. It's up to you, it's your room. So over here, I've got you all your favorite books. You've got some Disney princess books and all that good stuff. And you've got your own little chair and look, it's a sign with your name on it. <laughs> And then over here is a little spot for you to do your arts and crafts. You could do your homework, whatever you want. What's this? Oh, <laughs> I was saving the best for last. So this is your brand new bathroom. Okay, it's gonna be a tight fit in there cause it's really small, but come on in here and check it out, okay? And then I'll close the door. So this is your bathroom. <laughs> So you've got your own bathtub and shower. Oh, I gotta get rid of that camera. <laughs> you've got your own toilet and sink and we could definitely add more decorations in here if you want, but I just kept it simple for now. Look at all the cute ducks. Ah, yes, I knew you would love the wallpaper. <laughs> they are really cute though, aren't they? So now you've got your bedroom all done. You still got your closet in here. I did add a hairbrush and a hair dryer in here for you, just in case you needed it. And then of course you've got all your wonderful clothes in there. Thank you, mom. I love my new room. Perfect. And I just noticed that your little shorts have a butterfly on them as well. Aww. <laughs> so do you want me to leave you in here for a little while so you could check out your new room by yourself or what? Can we have a sleepover in my room and watch movies? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, good thing I added a TV in your room. Look, I'll bring in my sleeping bag. We could have a sleepover. Let me go check and see if we have loads of snacks for the movies, okay? Meanwhile, you think about what movie you wanna watch, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad she loves her brand new bedroom. <gasps> it's still kind of weird whenever she calls me mom though. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna tell her that I'm looking for a new family for her to go to. Oh, she's gonna be so devastated. Okay, so we do have a bag of potato chips. We've got some blocks yade. I guess that could work. Uh, let's see what I could cook up as a snack as well. Ooh, I could make some cookies as well. That would be nice. Okay, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We just gotta figure out what movie she's gonna wanna watch. But let me know what you guys think of Jess's new bedroom. Do you think she really likes it or is she lying to me? Or do the butterflies kind of creep you out? Let's go check on Jess and see how she's doing. Oh, hey Jess. Mom, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, you can ask me anything, what's up? Why do you think my real parents abandoned me? Did they not love me? Oh, hey, no, 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 no. I'm sure your parents, especially your mom, loved you a lot. And I'm pretty sure she had a really good reason for doing what she did. I wish I knew why, and I wish I could tell her. How do I tell her the truth? How am I supposed to tell her that her mom and her dad are dead? Maybe I'll just distract her with a movie. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.